How'd that feel? Really good. This is great. Quality. Keep your height. Push. Oh! <laughs> I love it! Hey guys, I'm Cheyenne. I'm 16. I'm from Singapore. And I just had my first session with schools here in Perth. Why are we here? Why are you here? Um, Why are you in Perth? Why are you here? I'm here to firstly get my rhythm back with my batting because I haven't played in a while and I want to enjoy the game again because even before um, I stopped I was going through a period where I was I'm just going to take some notes as you speak yeah, sure. just so I can go back to this um, so yeah, keep going. I was just not getting a lot of runs um, before I stopped as well for my exams I stopped enjoying my batting, my bowling and uh, there, there was like a point where I would dread the weekend because weekend were the games. So um, yeah, it was just not going well. And then I stopped for my exam. So I want to come back. I want to get my rhythm back with my batting and definitely some of the mental stuff as well. Because what's always been a problem with me is at the nets I play freely and um, at um, any training sessions or with throwdowns. But when I go onto the field for a match and play you know, with a big field and with maybe people watching, I get really tense, I freeze up, my feet don't move as well. Um, so yeah, I would love to work on some of the mental stuff more than anything. Cool, okay, that's good. So from my point of view, my goal over the next 10 days is to help you develop your skill set and train your mind as the two primary things. Develop your skills to train your mind. Developing skill is through, I think, understanding some concepts and some ideas that we teach, and then volume. Mm -hmm. And mental skills is you have all the tools inside you. We've just got to unlock the right mindset for you to play at your best. Yep. There'll be a few new ideas or thoughts, but it's about you unlocking and focusing on the right thing. <laughs> Yeah, like that. That's it. But sort of like, maybe we'll see how we put it. Sort of like running next to it. It's like running next to the line. Like yeah. That. You don't want to be there. Running straight down, and your weight can come this way. And now we're going to get volume in. You've got to be thinking and reflecting and learning as you go. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Moved a little early. Still moved a bit early. Oh, hold that backside strong. Good. Feel it for longer. Move. Good. Okay. Okay, what you're doing there is you're going this way and you're stopping and waiting and then going again. You want to try and still it here for longer. Still in your stance, still in your stance. And now you start to move with, with some rhythm and some pace. Back legs like this though. Your head was forward, it was good, but focus on your back where you're confused. Because you're already shoulder width, right? Your feet are under your shoulders. So you only have to go a little bit further, a little bit further, and yeah? get your head out over the ball, and that's what gives you power. Yeah? So I'm putting that there to stop you over striding. Let's 
have a look at that one. Come have a quick look at that so you can pair it with what it looked like. That's awesome, mate. That's a beautiful shot. Woo -hoo -hoo! How'd that feel? Really good. This is great. Quality. Keep your height. Push. Magic, beautiful straight lines. Stop, boy, you're on fire. Nice shot, mate. A little bit bottom head around, a little bit of a tennis shot there. Still hit it well. That's a beautiful shot. Feel good? Come down, have a look quickly. So the key is to try and understand your cues because when, when you go home, we won't be there to talk to you about things. So you're, the more you understand it, the better you're going to get. Keep understanding the, the important cues for you. Those things we spoke about at the start. Yeah. And like staying tall, staying strong. Brilliant. 
Big step, weights back a bit. You get away with it because it's really full. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nice. Palm to me, slap your thigh. Excellent. Let's have a look. Good, mate. Good. What do you reckon? Yes. Good. Hard to get their weight forward. Four. Moved early. G'day legend, Skulls here. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope you're enjoying it. Our short film on 16 year old Cheyenne from Singapore and his 10 days of intense training here in Perth at Cricket Mentoring HQ with myself and Reedy, and a special guest appearance from WA Cricketer Teague Wiley. If this is something you're interested in doing, uh, coming to Perth and working with myself to fast track your game and improve your mindset and take your game to the next level, well, then please send us an email, info at cricketmentoring.com. Give us some information on you and what you're after, whether it's for your child or for yourself. Now that the borders are open here in WA, we are super excited to be able to host cricketers from all over the world again. We've recently hosted Cheyenne from Singapore. We've hosted another boy from Melbourne. We've got players due to come in for the, over the next few months from different parts of the world. So if you are interested in doing that, please get in contact and we'll see what we can arrange for the future. So... Hope you're enjoying this movie. Let's get back into it. Feel that go to the end of the wall. But stay in your back, stay in your back leg. Oh, okay. Yeah, just like that. That'll just, all it takes is that little bit of, like it just adds that bit of depth there. Shoulder turn and bang. Find them, all that sort of thing. But if it's just, you keep that knob, Back and then through on a straight line down the wicket. Okay. As soon as that turns this way, we usually drag it. Yeah. Just stay inside the ball and drag that knob back and through. Yeah. Keep the bat nice and vertical. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Imagine there's a stump on like off, uh, line on off stump, okay? 
That, so that, how that knob turns back, the end of it. Yep. Then on the way through, that goes to the ball and down that, that line on off stump, mm -hmm. down the wicket, like yep. longer, yeah? Rather than, as soon as you start going this way, you're gonna get, hands are gonna go out at the ball and you're just gonna roll, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Stay yep. inside, keep that bat nice and steep and then snap. That feel, yeah. that feel good?
I could just be really clear, I guess. And also another thing is I feel like in the nets, I'll be like in sweeps uh, or like sets. Th those are the two big ones. But in a match, I'm going to guts to actually like play it. Because I I'll always, you know, that's rather you can do that. Yeah. Straight back. Yeah. Or like just block it. Yeah. Most of it's yeah. yeah. very similar. But I guess that's why I'm big on yeah. volume. Because if you, in the net, if you know yeah. yeah. that yeah. well, most sweeps, there's no reason you can't do it in the game. That's true. So yeah. that's why I'm like, all right, if I can do this shot 95 times out of 100 in the nets, mm -hmm. 90 times out of 100, 9 out of 10. Glass yeah. half full, glass half empty. Yeah, just there. I'm very much, yeah. you know, take your options and <laughs> if you get out, for me, if, if I get out, I get frustrated if it's a, if it's an option, option taking mm -hmm. error, if I miss execute, or <laughs> if it was the right thing, yeah. I'm okay with that, Yeah. but if I get out taking a dumb option, mm -hmm. that's probably a bit that frustrating, if you face four doors and start stopping, yeah. annoyed, but if very I'm trying to, I'm trying to get better that. and I, get down and sweep on the floor, or um, no, not sweep on the floor, if I get out top edging a sweep and it's just execution, yeah. I won't be as annoyed. Okay. Oh, this is the one where you can like, the hey, yeah. Can I, like, just see Same that? position. I want to see how that Brilliant. Goes. Deep breaths. I want you to 
visualize the first game in Singapore. Just visualize the ground it's likely to be at. You don't know where it might be, but where the it's likely to be at. And I want you to visualize how you're gonna show up on that day. How are you gonna be? 